Hello guys. I wasn't even sure I was gonna vlog today. I just decided to randomly do it. It's very sunny, which is nice, but I can't see. I got Jian Bing uh, for lunch. I wasn't even gonna vlog. I just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just thought, you know what? I haven't made a vlog in a while since Paris. So I'm gonna do it. I'm here because I'm gonna go get my hair cut. Seems that all my beauty procedures happen in Liverpool Street. I also have a but, uh, taro milkshake in my bag, which I'm very excited about. This is lunch. It's a miso chicken jambing from Pleasant Lady at Spitalfields, which I'm very excited about. I also love my outfit, but I have to show you properly later because I have to eat this now. It's just been time for my haircut. That park would have been really peaceful if it wasn't for the construction that was next to it. But I have my milkshake, I'm going for my hair now. Because my hair actually looks like a fucking bird's nest. Like, I'm not even joking. You know, people say that as a joke. It's not a joke. And today's fit as well is the weekday Martin jacket, my tequila top that I got from LA, and my ASOS ripped denim with my Balenciaga master boots. I really like it. Oh, I'm also going to a gig tonight. I'm going to see a DJ called Fred again. I've seen him before, um, but my friends are obsessed. I like him as well. My friends are like obsessed, so we're going again. I'm up for it. Yeah, that's a bit touristy, driving. Oh, I'm really happy with it. Wait, can you do it and I'll spin around? Yes, there's no room for anything. Yeah. I mean, it's a great destination, like, place to live, but I still think it's been paid for. Yeah. It's just a bit of a Thank you. This is gonna sound dramatic, but I had to stop filming. Like, I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. Um, I had to stop filming yesterday after I got my hair cut because uh, I was knocked over, like, to the ground by a cyclist um, in, Far in a place called Farringdon in London. I was, like, walking down the street and I didn't really know what had happened. Like, when I was being hit, I just assumed that I was part of a car accident, like a, a car had like hit a bike and the bike had then hit me or the, some, I don't know what, something just hit me in the street and I was just like, what the fuck? I was on the floor, like my chin was bleeding. I only have a small cut, but there was a lot of blood at the time. My whole chin was like covered in blood and all my rings went into my fingers and like, um, I've got like cuts in between my fingers and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, what had happened was a cyclist was going very fast and his chain had come off his bike and he'd lost control of his bike and he just like swerved into the pavement. So it, like the traffic was coming at me, but I was on the pavement, but he'd like lost control and swerved and went straight into me at like a, he was, <laughs> there was an impact, okay? Like the impact, was so bad like this should be around like a circular ring like these two points of the this is my skeleton ring and the fingers should like meet like this but they overlap now <laughs> and this was crushed to my finger and i was just like what the fuck has just happened um so yeah i was bleeding from my chin and my fingers he was bleeding from his nose and had a massive scrape on his forehead as well uh, loads of people around us like stopped to help us up like someone passed me my airpods because my airpods had like flown across the street i was just like oh also i was wearing my 
new jacket. And you can't really tell because it's kind of like that vibe anyway, but now it's covered in like bike oil here on the arm and on the main bit of the jacket. And my ripped jeans are now even more ripped. Um, and they're covered in bike oil here as well. My knee was all scraped and covered in bike oil as well. I basically look like I've been in a fight. Um, but I stood up and I was like, I asked the guy if he needed an ambulance because he looked worse off than me. So I was just like, I'm, I actually feel fine. Like my jaw hurts today and like my, the side of my body where he kind of hit me hurts, but it's fine. Like it's nothing serious. What was crazy is that the woman that was in front of me had managed to jump out of the way of the collision because she saw it happening. I was on my phone, I was listening to music, I was like in my zone. So I didn't, I just looked up and then boom. But the woman in front of me managed to get out of the way and she was pregnant, she was heavily pregnant. So I was like, she was like, oh, I feel bad because I moved out of the way. I was like, I'd rather him hit me than hit you. Like you have a baby inside you, that's crazy. I was like, I'm so glad he didn't hit you. Um, the guy offered to pay for my jacket and stuff, but I was like, it's the vibe. Like, <laughs> it's like a car crash vibe on my clothes anyway, so it's fine. I was like, you couldn't tell if that was supposed to be there or not. Um, I was like, honestly, don't worry about it. I'll just wash it. Um, so yeah, we kind of stood there. Oh, some really sweet, like, old man brought, brought us some bottles of water and baby wipes to clean ourselves up. I was going to call him an ambulance, but the cyclist, but he said he was fine. So I was just like, okay. Um, and then uh, some of his friends came because I think they were cycling ahead of him and then they turned back to come and help him and they, they were all going to get an Uber XL because his bike was like fucked. Like, it was very strange because it was like, I've never been hit over by a cyclist before. <laughs> and then we all just kind of like stood there for a bit and made sure everyone was okay and then everyone just left. So I was just like, that was very strange. And I was meeting my friends to go see Fred again in Camden. So I went and had food with my friends and stuff and just told them what happened. And they're just like, what the fuck, are you sure you're okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. So it's just a very strange, surreal experience. Um, but I'm glad everyone was okay. So that's good. So my ring is fucked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now I'm going to uh, Balenciaga. I've opened a new um, flagship store here in London on Bond Street so uh, I get to go before it opens which is very very cool so I'm getting ready now I'm gonna take you along with me hello uh, I'm going to meet uh, my friend Natalia who works for Balenciaga she has very kindly invited me to this store opening um, which is very lovely. So she works in the Mount Street store. So if you want or need anything Balenciaga, hit up Natalia. Um, I got a Joe in the juice. Get an ice latte with vanilla milk from Joe in the juice and it is insane. I'm sure I've said it before, but It's kind of spooky now. Just wearing a ten thousand pound chainmail wig. <laughs> I was like, mm. Thanks, Natalia. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello guys, I just realized that I didn't sign off properly. So um, the store visit was amazing. Um, if you're in London, you definitely have to check out the new flagship store on New Bond Street for Balenciaga. It's the biggest store in Europe, I think, or maybe the world, I'm not sure. Um, but I know it's huge. It's got like the best offering of menswear from a Balenciaga, Balenciaga store that I've been in. Um, I did buy a couple things, but I think I'll save that for an unboxing video. Um, me and Scott are about to paint our bedroom, uh, which I'm very excited about because uh, we've been meaning to do it for ages and we've not actually painted anything ourselves yet. So uh, I don't think I've ever painted a room before either. So this should be exciting. Uh, I want to say a few, huge thank you to Balenciaga for and Natalia for inviting me to the uh, new store opening the day before it officially opened to everyone else. I think apparently I was the first like actual customer to walk in and purchase something in that store, which is crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I got hit by a bike. I went to a gig and I got my hair done. An exciting week. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch you in a bit.